Welcome to Electronic Geek. In the last video, we saw various tools like the junction dot mode, probe mode, and the wire label mode. We also tried solving uh, some theoretically first, and we then simulated it, and uh, we checked it. Uh, we checked the nodal voltages and current uh, with the help of uh, probe mode and all those things. Today, I will be demonstrating you how to use wire label mode and how is how it is useful. So if you see in this particular circuit, this circuit is a full subtractor circuit. So in short, I'll be explaining what it is. First of all, it is a circuit which actually deals with subtraction of three bits. So if if you want to know more about it, I have made videos on full subtractor, half subtractor, and adders. I'll be putting the link in the description below. Do check them out. So to start with, first of all, uh, these are the three inputs toggles, which is these are. So this is A. b and c so a uh, subtraction of 3 bits actually uh, is expressed in uh, difference and borrow so the x or output which is this output is the difference and the or output is the borrow so to start with uh, if you see this circuit there are too many wires connected here and there uh this can this particular thing can be much more uh, reduced with the help of wire label mode see how first of all we will delete all these wires from here yeah so all the wires have been deleted and the equation for a uh, borrow is a bar b plus a bar c plus b c so uh, this can be easily done with the help of a uh, wire label mode right click place wire label right here a right click b right click c so now we will be uh, labeling these nets also first of all click here on the not gate to draw a wire double click on the schematic sheet same with the pin number 2 escape same here and same here also with these two pins yeah now what we need here is a so what we will do here is right click place wire label a now uh, when this particular net is named as a what it means is these two wires are connected okay and now here it will be b so same thing here we need a bar c so here it will be a and here it will be c and here it will be b c b and c yeah so let's check out uh, whether our circuit is working fine or not for that we will be checking it first with the truth table and we'll be taking a random set of uh, inputs our first input combination will be 001 we see difference is 1 and borrow is 1 let's check out whether we get these things on the output we click here on the start simulation okay right now it is 000 and we want 001 so we'll click here on the toggle switch see difference is 1 borrow is one stop simulation we'll take something else uh let's take 100 uh difference is one and borrow is zero so start simulation 100 see difference is uh high and borrow is low like this uh we can see that for other combinations also our circuit is working fine uh with the uh, expected output values now what we will be seeing is uh, using this uh, generators and uh, 
these oscilloscopes like will i will be demonstrating you with the help of a bjt as an amplifier circuit so we will be starting by uh, making the bjt amplifier circuit in this uh, amplifier circuit the bjt that we will be using is 2n3904 it is a three terminal uh, npn device and it comes in a to92 package firstly i have uh, i will select this place it this is the base emitter and the collector to start with uh, drawing the other uh, rest of the components uh, let's take this capacitor we'll place it here rotate uh, we will update values a bit later right now we'll simply construct the voltage divider circuit right click rotate place rotate select move bit down the rest two resistors right click rotate select move it here now we'll start connecting them this is basically the voltage divider configuration of an of amplifier now we will be using a generator so here we will select sign place it connect it double click we will update it as let's say v in dc offset 0 amplitude we shall be keeping it as 20 millivolts so 20 m frequency 1k and ok We'll be using another turn generator that is DC over here. This is equivalent to source, voltage source. We'll connect both of them. Like this. Change the name to let's say bias voltage. Bias underscore V. That will be uh, 15 volts. Now we'll be uh, going back to the component mode. We'll take a capacitor, place it, terminals, ground will be placed over here. For output, again we will be needing a capacitor, rotate, clockwise, resistor, place it here like this rotate select move uh, click here select oscilloscope and place it here we'll uh, connect this to channel D and we will connect the output voltage to channel A we will update the values now double click 33k 10k then this is 3.3 k and again this is 1k this is 10 micro simply write a u 10 u this is 47 u this is 10 u sorry now now to uh, start simulation we click here on start simulation and see We'll change this a bit here. See, D is the input voltage and C the amplified voltage. It's here on channel A. It's quite large. To calculate this voltage in actual how in practice, 
uh, we have a CRO so in that CRO what is to be done is we take this or uh, let's um, change this first yes. huh. so the vertical divisions if you want to calculate peak to peak voltage then we take the vertical divisions like uh, we count one and uh, we multiply them with volts per division uh, so that is how we get uh, the voltage uh, in CRO in practice so to we'll stop it and now comes the main part why did we use these capacitors so basically when we are uh, uh, giving an AC signal so resistance of a capacitor uh, like I should say impedance of a capacitor is XC that is 1 upon 2 pi FC now if the C value goes on increasing the impedance offered to the AC signal will be very low and that to a DC signal will be very high because frequency of a DC signal is zero and therefore it will become one upon zero that's infinity so uh, any offset noise over here that is any DC stray noise will be uh, blocked by this capacitor so only input only input voltage will be pure AC and that will be getting on the output too. capacitor actually is the bypass capacitor the job of this bypass capacitor is to offer low reactance to AC signals. So uh, in case of a pure AC signal, uh, this is 1K resistance and here the impedance will be very low. So uh, all the AC signals will get bypassed through this capacitor to ground. If this capacitor would not be present, then there would be a voltage drop across this resistor. So currently this is the AC uh, BJT amplifier. So if at all we would be doing DC analysis, we would be re simply removing these capacitors. They are not needed. Why? Because they will obstruct DC signal. That's why. So today we covered almost all the tools in Proteus 8.9 software. So now onwards we will be starting with uh, other other kind of circuit implementations over here. Uh, so this is it. Thank you for being till here. Thank you so much. Do like, comment, share and subscribe to my channel. And do let me know your valuable feedback in the comment section. Thank you so much.